The London Underground, an iconic part of the English capital. And for one member of TfL's staff, Ian Redpath, the Underground is more than just a job. Ian is the co-creator of All on the Board and has provided positive and inspirational quotes for millions of commuters on a daily basis. In fact, he's appeared on This Morning in the Past as he wrote a message for mine and Holly's birthday. Uh, lovely message if you're uh, commuting on the tube. This morning, I told you about yeah, this the other did. day, didn't I? That's because so nice. All on the Board, who we absolutely love. But it was one message that he wrote about his phagophobia, otherwise known as a fear of choking, that caught the attention of This Morning and Nick and Eva Speakman. So we thought it was best to send Nick and Eva down to have a chat with him. When I put the post up, um, the, the response was incredible and it wasn't long until Nick and Eva reached out and I'm just willing to do anything. I need to get help. Hello. Oh, hey, hey, are you all right, oh, eh? my goodness, it is so lovely to meet you. It's not often that we get bombarded like with an avalanche of messages to tell us that we've got to help somebody. Yeah, when I saw that happen, I thought, oh, no, they're going to be annoyed, you know, it's going to be disturbing them. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, you're so thank you. It, it uh, does mean the world. And tell me, how long have you had this choking phobia, then? Do you know what? I, I want to say about seven years. So like every time I sit down to have food, it's, it's kind of like survival, you know? I'm, I'm kind of believing that I'm going to choke. What would be your dream come true today? To sit down and eat a bacon sandwich. At the moment, that's my Mount Everest. And Big challenge, but we'll take that challenge. Yeah, brilliant. So it's clear that Ian has got a lot of anxieties around food. So before we start the therapy, we need to see how bad it is. Yeah, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a little test so we can calibrate just how severe this fear is. How do you feel just being sat in this environment right now? I'm getting quite tight and frozen. See that? Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. yeah. OK, and that's just looking at a menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that you said uh, your Mount Everest, the bacon sandwich. How do you feel about ordering one? Yeah, uh, I'll order it. I'll order the bacon sandwich. Thank you. When the food arrived, the Speakmans decided to leave Ian to it. Thank you. Right, cheers. He is struggling so much, and, and the fact that he says he's hungry all the time. Oh, that makes me and, so and sad. And we know that he suffers with acid reflux, and it's no wonder if he's hungry all the time. Yeah, it's, it's really sad. It's not fair. It's not long before Ian has to spit the food out, and having seen enough, Nick and Eva decided to rejoin him. Let's start working through this so that hopefully Brilliant. we can help you to get over this. Yeah, Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Nick and Eva have decided to take Ian somewhere quiet for his therapy session. They begin by trying to get to the root of the problem, and it seems to be traced back to dinner time when he was growing up. As a family, we'd sit around the, the dinner table. We'd kind of like pretty much sit in silence. We'd get on as a family, but halfway through the dinner, suddenly Dad would make a movement or something, and then he, he would have to rush upstairs to the toilet and make himself sick because he thought something had been trapped in his throat. It, it was kind of like, is there something that we said or were we not quiet enough? I felt vulnerable as well because um, the man that I look up to and still look up to, he, he's got this vulnerability. As a child, yeah. you learn that food mm. can make you choke. Mm. possibly die. Yeah. Digging into Ian's childhood, the Speakmans begin to see how the problem started and encourage Ian to change his way of thinking. His issue needed medical intervention. Mm. Yours is just copied. And then you have a sweet and you feel like you've got it stuck in your throat. And whereas I said to you, I've had loads of sweets and chokes mm. as a kid, but not a problem because my dad didn't have an issue with his throat. When I was choking on that board sweet, it was him that had me over the sink and sort of banged me on the back. After an hour of therapy, Nick and Eva seem to be making a breakthrough. Everything that you're struggling with right now is based on the opinion of a little boy. Yeah. Your throat has never, ever let you down, ever. And even when a sweet got stuck, you coughed it up. Mm. And that was when you were little, but you're a big boy now. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Nothing wrong with your throat. There's, there's nothing wrong with my throat. They can put his all right, don't they? He's saying all the right things. We definitely seem to have acquired a change in his attitude and his thought process, but realistically, we won't know how far he's come until he's facing his bacon sandwich. 
Thanks, mate. Thank you. Okay. No sooner had the sandwich been placed in front of him, and Ian is tucking in. Does it feel better? It, it does, yeah. Who's in control? I am, yeah. You're all right. We would never put you in danger. Mm. And your mum would be... This is gorgeous, sorry. Is yeah. that a... I am listening to every word you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Go on, you can. Oh, yeah. it's gorgeous. Maybe we should just have a Should we go? Should we go? What a difference. Not only is Ian eating the sandwich, he's actually enjoying it. To be able to give him this opportunity is, is just wonderful. He's such a lovely man. Bacon sandwich today, steak tomorrow. As long as they pay for it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I'm up for it. Yeah. Ah, you're welcome. Wow. Good for you. Well, after meeting the Speakmans last week, at the weekend, Ian went out for dinner with his wife twice <laughs> and tackled this. Oh, my gosh. Pizza.